Trailblazers. We talked about the cosmos. We talked about what was happening in the media. We talked about life. We talked about struggle. We talked about poverty. We talked about how to help save the people of the world. We talked about, you know, I could write a whole series on my Sundays with Sydney. Uh, I want them to walk away knowing that there was a life of a man who was the most, ex one of the most extraordinary human beings ever to live. That's why. We've come together. I surprised my sisters today to be here, and it's been nothing but full of love. Yeah. And that's what Daddy was all about. Yeah. Full of love, giving it to the world, and the world giving it back to him. Band of Angels with Clark Gable. A lot of people have not do not know about that movie. Uh, a Raisin in the Sun with Ruby D and Buck and the Preacher with Harry Belafonte. Those are my three. I'm gonna go with the classic In the Heat of the Night. Yeah. Uh, for me, it was to serve with love and guess who's coming to dinner. That I mean. She took it right out of my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> to serve with love. That's my favorite. For me, it's the same with Pam. Buck and the Preacher and Raisin in the Sun. the energy that this kind of festival brings and appreciates when you bring a story like this. Something about someone who's so magical and they have a connection to the audience and, and TIFF really gets behind that. They're known for getting behind these kinds of uh, stories that really say so much about someone's life but also let you in in a way that you wouldn't normally have been exposed to. So it's just a beautiful experience and the right place for it to premiere. He was guided by a moral compass and values, and that's very much at the heart of the film. Um, and it's very much a part of the legacy of everything he's built, which is the through line to everything that the audience will see tonight. So the time couldn't be more right. We, we need that guiding light, that North Star in this moment, and they'll feel that. They'll feel the heartbeat of the film captured through his sensibility and his moral compass. I love, in a way, how Sidney tells his own story in this film. That you become connected to it from the very beginning with his words. And that follows all the way through to the end of the film. So he isn't just a moment in the film, he is the spirit of the film, through his own words. It was so easy to bring everyone together because they knew that they wanted to honor everything that he was and that what he stood for. And it was very much in the spirit of the man that he is today because everyone still is so connected. I would just say he's so genuine, you know? He never changed who he was. Hollywood never changed him. From his story in the very beginning, I would say at the end of his life, you still saw that same spirit throughout. There was nothing that was false or inauthentic about him. And every decision he made throughout every aspect of his life always met back to his core values and his truth.
I'm so happy to be here at the Toronto International Film Festival. My first time here with a film uh, in, the, in, the, in the event, and I just couldn't be more proud. In the movie industry, almost from the very beginning, we had all this racist imagery going back to Birth of a Nation. And, you know, so and that was piling on on a global basis. And single-handedly, he shattered all these stereotypes and made people recognize the humanity of black people. Well, I've been a Sydney Porter fan my whole life. I mean, Sydney's everything. I grew up watching his movies. As soon as I could go to movies by myself, I got on the bus, went downtown, went to go see, you know, Buck and the Preacher, uh, Uptown Saturday Night Live. So it's me it's just returning the love that he gave to me. Charming, elegant, uh, courageous, intelligent. I mean, you could just go on and on with one compliment after another, because, but that's who he was. Oprah Winfrey had uh, two days worth of in-depth interviews that she had conducted with Sydney. So that became the spine of the movie, you know? So she provided everything we needed to make this movie work. I want people to say, I can do it too. Whatever it may be, it may have nothing to do with entertainment, but the point is, we'd sell ourselves short in terms of what we're capable of. And I want people to go, to just go for it. Being at TIFF tonight is, uh, it's extraordinary. And to have Oprah here tonight to support this film as she has from day one as a producer, it's all come together, our director Reggie, and to have the power of TIFF behind this world premiere, um, it kind of chokes me up, I have to be honest. I wanted to do this film with the support of his family. You know, I've been blessed to tell the story of many iconic individuals, and uh, when you have a family with that support and love and, um, and having their authentic participation in the movie, it elevates it. And so for me, the opportunity to sit down with Sydney and his wife Joanna, talk about what might be, talk about the journey that was ahead of us, and then to have it turned into this magical journey for four years, and here we are tonight, you know, it was, it was, there wasn't anything about being a decision, it was just being allowed and honored to do so. What's so beautiful about this film is, as you'll see, he takes us on this epic journey. He's supported by this incredible cast, and most importantly, that family that I mentioned, they're right there with us each step of the way in this film, which makes it such a beautiful, inspiring journey. Oh, I want them to want more, you know? I want them to be inspired by this film. I want them to realize that the journey that, that Sydney was on is, is something we can all learn from. That each one of us, if we have a dream, follow it, be resolute. And, uh, and take this as the beginning, something that's adding to the legacy of Sidney Poitier, but dive in because he has so many lessons to teach us all.